James Cameron's long-awaited sequel to 2009's Avatar arrives in theaters this weekend and it has critics captivated and exasperated. Disney's Avatar, The Way of Water, which clocks in at over three hours long, is being hailed as a stunning piece of cinema, generating a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. But, its narrative is thin and, like the original, doesn't hold up against Cameron's lofty technical ambitions, several critics said. The Way of Water follows Jack Sully, Sam Worthington, and Neytiri, Zoe Saldana, who are now the parents of four Navi children. The family is driven from their forest home when humans return to recolonize parts of Pandora. Read more, Avatar, The Way of Water could be headed for a $175 million opening weekend Critics are adamant that audiences should watch The Way of Water on the biggest screen possible, lauding the film for its You Won't Believe This is computer-generated visuals and bombastic sound design. But the film's long runtime was a fault point for many, who found that Cameron's script was too thin to justify three hours in a theater. Here's what critics thought of Avatar, The Way of Water before its Friday release. The sequel to Cameron's 2009 box office hit, Avatar, The Way of Water, is simply bigger and better than its predecessor in every regard, wrote reviewer Eric Francisco. It demands the biggest screen you can find. Francisco noted that there are some hiccups in the film's plot and in Cameron's own inability to resist teasing elements of the next installment in the franchise. Apparently, there are several unresolved narratives that audiences will have to wait to see in future Avatar movies. As is the case with most of Cameron's films, what elevates his work is the bravado of his execution, allowing magnificent beasts and scenery prime real estate on the screen, while Lar. Both never fail to inspire all. The bioluminescent creatures and caverns aren't just a dazzling visual to distract us, they work in tandem with the storytelling to create a revelatory experience. Read the full review from Inverse. Avatar 2 is definitely a showcase for visual effects company Weta FX. The faces of Pandora's Navi heroes have become even more expressive, wrote Charlotte O'Sullivan in her review. But I've never thought Cameron was God's gift to cinema, she added. For most of Titanic's running time my gut feeling was, just sync already and some of the 68-year-old director's worst tendencies are on display in Avatar 2, over-familiar plot beats, overwrought score and endless shots of the Navi's obscenely willowy, coyly sexualized bodies.